Yeah, this is right. This one. Uh, actually, the, the light doesn't switch off. So you have to. Is this good enough to share it? For the slides, I'm going to a little bit to PDF, so, uh, but nothing has been um, changed. Yeah. No. Okay. Start once the um, top was because this was meant for this students just to remember coming and don't mind for other coming. So just start once the comes right there. Yes, and then here just keep coming as well. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Join us and start at 1815. 1815? Yeah, it's fine. Is it the time? I was thinking we have to reflect now. And then they'll join us. Then again, in the question, but by 14, you read this because of maybe 14. Okay. So, um, in the interest of time, uh, you know, we have, uh, I know we have people in the audience who are pretty busy, so we don't want to waste their time. Um, and, and also, Zachary is, uh, is apparently supposed to be attending another meeting uh, after the talk, so we don't want to delay him. Um, yeah, so, before I introduce Zachary, I just wanted to say thank you to, um, to the prof here. Just saying, I wasn't expecting him to be here. He's a director of DRGS for those of you that don't know him. But uh, um, yeah, so Zachary is going to give a talk on uh, uh, is it managing dispersed based institutional repositories experiences from the investor of Zambia. Uh, I'm not sure if there are people in here that don't really understand what IRs are, but this is um, this is something that's very close to to us in this um, because we've noticed that there's, there's really there isn't really that much of an uptake when it comes to We have a number of uh, uh, master students, uh, these master students, computer science master students, who are 
who some of whom are working around this particular area. So without further ado, Zachary, I'll, I'll let you I'll, I'll let you do your talk. Thank you so much. Um, um, uh, as uh, Lighton explained, um, I'll be uh, I'll, I'll, I'll rush this uh, talk in so that we can leave more time to discuss. Okay. Mm -hmm. the, the topic of my talk is managing managing a space based institutional repository experiences from the University of Zambia institutional repository. Uh, my, 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 my presentation will be based on the, be the introductions, uh, into the benefits of uh, I, I, uh, the rationale, why we set up an I uh, and the steps that you have And then I also look at the vision of the And then I also present some statistics on how I how IR has been used and how the we are I also talk about the challenges we have been facing in the According to each uh, some scholars that uh, of espoused, I've talked on why uh, on, on the on the for example, if I say that the poster is a set of things that are best to the members of the community for the management and distribution of the digital materials created by the institution and its community members. So, uh, a digital report described as the of organizations of safety with materials in these collections can be many forms. published articles, preprints, book chapters, thesis, or even audiovisual materials. What what does the kind of do? The, 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 the kind of and submission to such applications. Okay. This can be or available to the outside through the internet. Okay. It also provides online on the access to the content. But the data data agree as now that we publish the data data of not the full article. It also provides the possibility to share your content. And what does an IR system consist of? For you to set up an IR, you need the hardware, of course. You need the software. And then you need staff. And that staff, you categorize it in the following. You say you need an IT specialist. And of course, the information professionals, the librarians, to manage the IR. If you have all these ingredients, ingredients, then you are ready to set up the IR. So what are the, uh, the, the, the beneficial, the benefits of the, uh, to the institution? What does an IR bring to the institution? Okay. It, uh, it, it, it provides the organizational support for, to the faculty, mm -hmm. seeking innovative approaches to research dissemination. Okay. And it also enables the, the, the institution to, to, to demonstrate its quality and the scientific, social, and economic rele rele relevance of that institution's research. And then it helps to increase the institution's uh, visibility, status, and public value. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, at, at UNSA, uh, we, we noticed as a library that uh, most of the research which is uh, done here is not properly documented. It is sitting, it is scattered in various departments. Even the, the most of the, for example, in our special collections, because that is the best collection of our uh, you find that most of the materials are just cataloged, they are sitting in the shelves, but the outside no well doesn't know that we have such materials. 
we have a lot of braille literature in our house. So that's why we, we, mentioned, we thought that this is the way to go. And also for benefits to readers, um, for of course, it's the wide access and visibility. And like for us here now at NVS of Zambia, there's an issue of the H index. Uh, we've noticed, and uh, of late, ever, uh, since this uh, came as a promotional tool, that uh, uh, most of the members of staff who have uh, archived their works with us, when we check their uh, index citations, there's a significant increase. And in terms of the, the, the access um, to the Google screen, we so see that Tunza uh, now has got that visibility. You can see that there's a the, the girl we shall see that she said a lot of people are looking at our materials now. You can see from the number of communities when we just the lecturers started deposting their materials with us that there's a you can see that there's a there's a, there's a significant increase in the access demand to and which which benefits to our researchers. Okay, and uh, what, uh, what, 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 what what does an IRA do on the scholarly co communication? Of course, uh, it, uh, it, it, it supports the information of scholarly through, uh, through the open access facility. It, uh, their scholarly works are, 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 are visible to the outside world. And mind you, through the IRA, we subscribe to the concept of open access. We are saying that uh, anything which is published uh, using public funds, uh, the, the, our user community have to access it at no cost. Mm -hmm. And then our error, uh, uh, in, in it are embedded uh, 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 protocols which can be shared, like I said earlier, with other errors and other search engines like Google and Google Scholar. And then for, for libraries, uh, the IR also provides excellent opportunities. Okay. It, uh, it helps libraries to reassert their importance in organizations. Okay. Um, my, my experience here, I've been in, in, in the university for about 20 years. You can see that sometimes people look down to our education libraries. But through the outcome, we are, we are, we are disseminating to the IR. I can see now every time where I walk, every time I walk, everyone I pass, they want to have an appointment with me. They want to have their work. So at least now we are, I think maybe we are getting the gaining. And in these stages now we are moving from the book, we are moving to the digital interface. The IR is the way to go. Okay. So there, 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 there's an impetus for emergency. The bond to research material. Nowadays, most of the materials are, are produced uh, using IT technology, not in book form. So there's a bond. Then various materials now are published in various publication types and formats, which libraries, traditional libraries, can't uh, can, can't manage. And most, lecture, lecture, most researchers now, they are preferring to publish through credible online journals. Mm -hmm. okay. So this is the historical background how the idea of the IR at University of Zambia Library was muted. The idea was started in 2010, okay? And then this, uh, the, 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 this was facilitated by a grant through the uh, Netherlands University Foundation for International Cooperation. They sponsored uh, two members of staff from our library, two librarians and two uh, IT staff were, were identified from our CICT. And uh, uh, the aims of the project were to develop, develop a student management system, establish an institutional repository, establish a computer laboratory meant to facilitate free access internet to students, and to equip the CICT. So that is how the, uh, the, the IRA was born. So our IRA runs on the D space open, open source. There are various open source uh, software 
uh, which you can use to 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 run your app. Uh, this place is one of them. There's 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 uh, ePrint. There's also uh, Greenstone. Apart from being accessible for the Windows Institution reports that I said that, that our IR content, including research materials, are accessible through Google and Google Scholar. And then our IR is also registered with the Director of Open Access Repositories. This directory is a, is a director of all repositories all over the world. And in Zambia, the University of Zambia IR is the only one which is listed. And uh, on the equipment, I said, for you to have, uh, uh, to, to establish, you need uh, scanners. For us, we started with a uh, flat base uh, talk area, uh, talk area, some of the challenges we've had with this. But these, are, these came with donations. We started with this, uh, about uh, two flat base scanners and then two co one, one computer. Okay. But with these two flat base scanners, we managed to, uh, to digitize all the theses which were in hard copy in the special collections, which were published by the University of Zambia Library from 1964 to 2015. These were done by the two flood birds. By now, these scanners have packed up now. Mm -hmm. So this is the open door, the open uh, directory of repositories. You can visit it and check, and you'll find that the, our University of Zambia IR is the only one registered in Zambia. And then in Africa, we are doing a bit okay. Um, uh, our, 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 our collections as at, at, uh, as at now, we are, we are close to 4,600 materials we've digitized. And the key features for an NR to, to run, you need the archiving. There's an archiving part. There's an archiving part. Maybe let me talk a bit on the workflow, how we, how we organize our work in the, in the, in the, in the IR. Um, we work hand in hand with the Directorate of uh, Research and the Graduate Studies. Uh, for a student, for example, to graduate, they have to deposit their copy with the Directorate. Okay, and uh, when they deposit their copy there and the copy of the CD, eventually that copy comes to the library. Okay, and then in the library we separate. After the hard copy, you can use the special collection. So in the in the in the in the in the section, they will do the metadata, and then us in the in the IR department, we shall wait for that metadata to be added to our management information system. Us, we simply just copy that data and add it to the document in the IR. Okay. So when we okay, we add that document in the IR, we archive it, and then we disseminate it. We also do there's an aspect of administration because the the, the display software. Uh, uh, requires a bit of administration in terms of policies. Who does what? Okay, who does the scanning? Who does the archiving? Who does the metadata? And who does the approval to make sure that there's quality control? Okay. So far in the department, we are only the two of us. Okay, I'm the, I'm the acting head. And then there's also my assistant who does the scanning and uploading. So basically what I'm talking about, that is what happens. There are some articles which come direct to us, like the journal articles, conference papers. They come direct to the IR. So us, our job is to apply the metadata. And we have to check. We have got a software which is embedded in the IR. We call it Shepard and Romeo. We check if that we don't infringe on corporate issues. OK, so we have to counter check uh, to make sure that, that there's permission. Because Shepard and Romeo, they will guide you how you should do, publish their article. Okay, some articles they will give you maybe a color green. It tells you just just publish the abstract, or just publish the metadata, or just publish the whole abstract. So this Shepard uh, 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 Romeo guides all articles over the world, which is embedded in our so those are the processes, for example, which take place. So. As at now, like what I, what I, what I, what are the area said? 4,500 materials which have been archived in the the thesis collection. We have about 2,400. It's doing very well. Um, at least on this one, we are up to date. 
Though we have uh, some challenges, I think we need to sit down with uh, DHRIS. You find that we have problems where uh, most of the CDs which came with uh, hard copies uh, can't open. Okay, so uh, you find that after maybe a while, the students start calling you that I graduated some time back, but I can't see the material on the IR. And uh, we, we prefer to upload a document from a CD or from a flash. Scanning doesn't produce the proper, the best quality. You find that it's a tedious one, but maybe a document is more than 300 pages. Now you can imagine the type of scanners which we have. Uh, so we prefer, uh, so I think we shall need to engage the DJRIS. We've already made some presentations. How best we can do it. Okay, I'll, 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 we have some suggestions which I think I'll, 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 I'll highlight as we do discuss the way forward. Okay. The, the other communities, we have 20 communities in the IR. Our schools in the universities, in the University of Zambia, we, we call them communities. We have 20 communities. But the first one, the ADHL, is a project which is managed by the University of Zambia Medical Library. That is a, that is a project. Uh, these are uh, libraries in, in the health sector, private and public. They have come together. They are being sponsored by the Ministry of Health through the World Health Organization. Okay, so they are, they are depositing the materials. And this, that, that, that project is managed by a medical library, but it is sitting on our IR. So the other communities, as you can see, that is how we are failing. The numbers we see there, for example, for AGRIC, 70. That says that only 70 members of staff, lecturers, have deposited their works in the IR. Okay, so that number one in the School of Engineering says that only one members of, member of staff has. Actually, so it could actually mean that maybe one has deposited 10. 10, yeah. So even those 70, you find that it's only maybe five individuals. Uh -huh. Okay, we shall explore why as we go on. Okay, yeah. yeah. But the, the, the school we are working, which is doing very fine, is a school of education. Okay, these are very active. I'm busy with them. Maybe because I'm the focal point person. Uh, because I sit. Yes, yes, Doc. The other explanation is we have less than a county about 125 faculty staff in the Yes, school. exactly. So it turns out that we have low numbers in the school. So again, even though we're making progress, but we're still low. No, and, uh, and 50. 58 of them, of the 123, are from this department. Yes, yes, this 58 of those are from this department. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so can I maybe, let me also mention why maybe the, 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 this information is, it's not very encouraging because the, actually the, the, this, the, 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 this is an obvious case. The thesis is an obvious case, a student will graduate and it's a requirement for them to graduate, to be given a go ahead to graduate, they need to deposit a copy, a, a CD. Okay, but for Falcott, there's a, sometimes there's even a resistance. Some have even asked us to pay them, uh, for them to publish in our uh, uh. Okay, But if you have visited the Google Scholar, that's why we tell them, visit Google Scholar. Okay, when you visit Google Scholar, for our friends, other universities, when you look at an article, it will even share the National University last, last. Yeah. So when you look for Zambia, you, it's either you find it, then the number is very disappointing. You won't find it even searches. It will take you time to find a search for Zambia. Okay. So it's important that we encourage our, our members of staff, especially the faculty, to publish with us. And there's a high impact factor if an, an article maybe is captured through Google Scholar. So the search statistics, the usage, how people are interacting with our, with our IR, oh, I hope you can see uh, the screen. It's very encouraging. For the School of Agric, it says that about 859 searches were made. And these are the top, from the top communities, selected top communities. So Other communities are also doing fine. I just picked the... Searching. Yes, searching the... Uh, okay. That is both Zambia and the outside. Of the School of Education materials, about 2,300 
Yeah, humanity is 1,500. So which period? The, uh, the period is from January to uh, Monday this week. So, so yes. As of this year. As of this year, exactly. Yeah. Okay. And then we we also have top country searches. What I did, what what Ayala does, it aggregates the countries huh? by region. Okay. So for example, there's Africa, Asia, Americas. That's North America. So the top country searches, of course, Zambia was number one. Okay, so we have about uh, close to Zambia is doing fine for the, it's about 2,400 searches. And then in the in, in Europe, uh, the UK is leading, that's uh, the whole United Kingdom, they have 1,000 searches. In North America, the USA is leading, they have about 1,800. And then in uh, Asia, we have China. In Africa, we have South Africa. Okay. But of course, there are other countries like Kenya, East Africa. So I just got the top country searches. So this is outside the Zambia. This is how people are, are interacting. For, uh, mm -hmm. okay. And then the challenges. The major one is the lack of police. Okay. But ever since I took over, at least we have made some headways. This story started as far back as 2010. But today I can report that uh, as at Friday last week, uh, I, I was assured, I called council, they said we made presentations there. They told me that uh, it has now reached that stage now because they gave, we made presentations, they made their comments, we made corrections, sent them back to council. So they have secreted it to council members. It is in, in the process of going back now to the executive management for final approval. We are hoping that uh, through this policy, if it's enacted, then we shall oper operationalize the IRA department. Because in that uh, policy, the IRA policy, we have put in, we have borrowed the same, uh, the same policy guidance which guide the uh, depositing of materials in the special collection. Depositing of materials in the special collection, for example, uh, says that uh, so long as someone is working for the University of Zambia, uh, by, law, by law, according to the University of Zambia, that material, if we've come across it and we say, prof works for us, we just, without even consulting the prof, we just straight away put it in our, uh, that is how we developed that collection in the special collection. Anything which was done by a member of staff, a lecturer, so long as they are working for the University of Zambia, they publish it. And then we shall, we, there's even a, a something which is connected to their promotion, the H index. Okay, so it's um, the IRA, the, in the policy, we are encouraging the staff to deposit. And then it will even maybe do, uh, sort out the issues of staffing, because we have a problem of staffing. Because right now, I'm just a caretaker. I, I, I was given another assignment. I've, I, was, I was the acting manager for the IR, but in March this year, I'm, I was tasked to head another department. So as at now, no one has been identified to head this unit, okay? So even the staff we have to borrow from other departments. They have other duties. Even office space. Office space, we have an issue of office space. And then in the office space, we have an issue where to keep the CDs. The way we are keeping them now are in boxes, which is not good. Because we have got, we have got, we have got requests sometimes where a student comes, they graduated in 2015. They are saying, sometimes there was one time our IRA was hacked and we lost most of the data so we had to go back and upload what we had done uh, so as a backup that's why we need um, standardized office storage equipment and all these will be factored in when we and the other the other, the other issue is the the employee turnover at investor of zambia like i said earlier the ira was started in 2010 Two members of staff from CICT and the library were trained. But over time, those people, some one resigned from CICT, the other one was redeployed. He got a higher promotion, so he's somewhere else. Uh, and then even the librarians who started this project, they have moved on there further. So now even me, you see, they say it's what? Uh, at job on training. Uh, I've never been to any formal training to manage. It's just out of passion. Okay? And then the issue to do if we, for, for you to manage a very successful IR, you need a vibrant 
IT support. Uh, so like the gentleman who is helping us, was, who was assigned to handle IR, uh, he came out, I think two weeks ago, said, uh, Mr. Zuru, some of these things I think I need to be also taken for training. Okay. And so as a, as, a, as a professionals to be, for you when you are thinking of setting up an IR, please factor in the issues, especially the issue to do with the IT, IT support. If you have visited our IR of late, the past three months, it's very slow. You cannot upload. For you to upload, you have to be in the, you have to access it as early as seven hours. So me, what I do, if I have work and people have given me work to archive, I report for work as early as seven hours. By 7.30, I should be done. And so suddenly, I don't know what happens to it, it becomes slow. We have failed to find the problem. Uh, so IT support. And then we said, well, maybe we need the skill sets to be required to, but, uh, but I think it's, we need the, the, the capacity building, the, the, the people to money, we need to factor in this. And the issue of equipment is very cutting. Because the, the, the equipment that we had in the, at the inception, it was part of the donation. And that equipment now is obsolete. Uh, it cannot do, perform the way we expected it. Uh, okay. And then the way forward, um, uh, we, 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 we want to create more, for, uh, more, more communities. There are so many things which are done within the university community. Uh, we need to document. Um, uh, we, are, we, are, we are in the process of also creating a community which will document, which will tell a story of the university through photos, pictures. If you visit other IRS, uh, for example, we need to document where the Confucius Institute is before it was there, there was something else. But there's nothing to document. document. So if someone tells, asks you, you work here maybe after five years, where the Confucius, Confucius Institute was, what was there before that? There's, there, there, in the industry, for example, today, uh, we don't have a, a system which documents the events which are taking place in the, in the university. We need to document. So we, we are in the process of setting up a community where we can have digital photos. We also want to create a community where we can also archive the important speeches which have been done within the university. Okay, on, on our IR, all those are not there, but we have them in the special collections in hard copy. People need to have access to them. Okay, and of course we need to, if you look at our interface of our IR, we could have gone live, but I'm told the internet, the interface. We need to work also on our interface. Mm -hmm. And then we also have to, um, to, 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 to niece our marketing strategies. Okay, through the self-archiving, we've been going through, I've been engaging faculty. Uh, we go to schools, we engage lecturers. We teach them how to self-archive their materials at the comf in the comfort of their offices. They don't need to visit us to archive their work. Okay, uh -huh. but uh, this one will be done because we're now in the library, in the process of uh, 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 we have subject uh, liaison librarians who are attached to schools. So we have tasked these librarians to market and to teach the, the, the academic staff how to self-archive their work. And through this, I think it has worked. I've seen it in the School of Education. Those are the numbers we are seeing. Most of those uh, archived works, they have done them in the comfort of their offices. And then uh, uh, we need to, we have, I think we have now agreed uh, the metadata only submission, uh, that was an issue. Through the copyright, the Shepa and Romeo software we talked about. Uh, now, those issues, the, those, those uh, publications where maybe the publishers have put embargoes, uh, we, we, we shall be able now to just pop, uh, publish them, we just put their metadata and publish them in our uh, Any questions? I think that's the end of my. Thank, thank you so much, uh, Zachary. Mm -hmm. uh, before I invite questions, I, I so wish we had uh, a presentation from. I don't know if you can go to the, the graphs where we have the distribution. It's the one. And I, I wish we had someone from law and engineering so that they could tell us why why we only have one publication from engineering. For instance. And, and I think I think the mistake we make is thinking that. You know, this doesn't concern me. 
I mean, Apple could be a wonderful researcher, but as far as the outside world is concerned, UNSA is the sort of institution where there's only one publication mm. written in the IR. But, but I don't know if there are any questions. Um, so I think I want to answer all the other questions that I have. Yes. Yeah, we, we made some remedial measures. Uh, the, I think now we can guarantee, we can assure you that uh, there's security. Yeah, it happened about it was about five years ago, uh, but since that time there's never been any hacking. Yes. Another question: um, Is there any way like the same repository can be used for generating access explicitly? Okay, we have explored uh, there are issues. Eh? For example, our repository, uh, we, you can you can find the exam papers. One, okay. So we have be, we have had the debates because exam papers are not supposed to be visible to the outside the community. They're supposed to be internet. Okay. Uh, now to attach passwords to them has been an issue because we operate on the principle of open access. Uh, maybe Abel can just. Uh, but but one way an IR will generate uh, funds for the university, uh, it does that indirectly. Yeah. Like if, if what we do is out there, mm -hmm. then it will be for a grant or something. Yeah. Like that. Mm -hmm. there's, there's a graph you showed where there are searches from outside. Mm -hmm. So part yeah. of the reason why this, some of these people might be interested mm -hmm. in collaborating with, with us, yeah. researchers at Windows because it's already been done. Mm -hmm. So the more we put out, then the more people will know about us. Mm -hmm. and in, Indirect, we might generate funds for the university. Um, I, I wanted to go back to the, to the. I, I think from a librarians, the, a lot of librarians. I don't know how effective though. Um, arranging the works that are in the IR based on communities rather than subjects. I don't know what others think. Um, uh, I, I I think if we followed subjects, it would. It will, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking like someone who teaches cataloging. So I feel like it. I feel like it will, it will make more sense. Like with agri uh, information, and and that then would mean some of us, like in lease and computer science, for example, will be will have our materials in in one place. So I, I don't know what others think. Whether this is more effective or the subject arrangement would, would I don't know. But by the way, so I, I must that she's one of our postgraduate students, but she's the like she's the librarian for Zika University. Oh, okay. The next part, no, I'm leaving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Maybe I just wanted to count that. Um, I see clarity because we're just learning. We're starting the repository right now. So if we arrange according to subjects. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. I was coming to that. Maybe. Because I want yeah. to believe that if it's in a community like School of Education, mm. in that community you are going to have this probably mm. as a sub-community. And you have this, you have educational psychology and the like. So I think for me, I would go for mm. schools as community because if we went by subject, there's a lot of Courses in these mm -hmm. and maybe navigation and vocational mm -hmm. education. And in addition, actually, I think this one was a default. The people who were creating, creating it, this one was a default because uh, if you visit most of the IRS, the, um, the, the, the key issues there, you just put maybe four communities, not 20 communities. They, it looks so crowded. Mm -hmm. And uh, when it comes to self archiving, you are training someone to self-archive. We spend more time to teach someone to find the exact community where they should do. Okay. Yeah, for example, in the education, for someone who is in the Department of uh, Education and Policy Studies, because in the same education you see, it has got other collections again. Yeah, so, when you, when, so when you are teaching someone to archive, it takes a long time. 
Yeah, so the quickest way actually which you want to do, I think very soon maybe I'll, I'll propose to the one who take off the best and the others have visited. You just put staff publications, thesis, um, articles, maybe speeches. You don't crowd the, 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 the screen, just put about five. So anything to do with staff publication, you throw it in that moment. So it's up to you now as a librarian to make sure that you tag those things nicely so that they are searched. Uh -huh. So the yeah. tagging, that's where now the issues are. Uh, vocabulary control now, the language, the professionalism has to show which terms do you have to sh give them so that those things are searched. Yes. Mm. So, so another way of looking at what Abel is suggesting, I'm glad uh, uh, knowledge management experts are having this interaction. So what happens if there are experts in knowledge management. But if you look at disciplines like mining, engineering, and engineering, they're separated right now, but you could lump them in one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. IDE and education, I mean, there's no difference there, right? So I think his argument is, uh, um, why not identify things that are certain things in common and then just make them into one, if you still want to maintain the current structure. Um, but then again, there's no correct solution. It turns out that if you look at IRS from various universities, they take different approaches. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and, and also I think the point she, she, she raised, like we, we're starting this and yeah. we'll look at what will work for us, like mm -hmm. context then. then. Yeah. So I think the question for me was more so, mm -hmm. if this is working for the investors, of them, then good. Mm -hmm. I don't know what will work for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just to commend the presenter for this, uh, I think what I see is the lack of awareness mm. for okay. most of us about the stuff. Uh, we have a lot of publications. I have seen Henry Sony as one of the people. I think we need to increase the essential oh, yes, yeah. That must be helped. Uh, now, on the issue of uh, the difficulties uh, you are having in uploading some of the dissertations uh, because of uh, 40 CDs. Mm. Uh, but we, uh, you may not be aware, before we send the, our dissertation or the uh, CDs to libraries, we uh, send soft copies. Oh. on our computer. So if you get lost or you are not, not able to access, you can get back to us. We will get the soft copies which will oh. come on our machine. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. And just an addition on the awareness. Eh? Mm -hmm. uh, we have deliberately uh, engaged the Yunza Press. Yunza Press uh, has been publishing our journals, hard copy. And uh, you know, they are not online. They are not online. So we have engaged them. We even in tra trained their staff how to upload. Yes, uh, so that they, they, they can upload them. And they have the soft copies. But the problems they have had was, uh, I'm told, over time, most of their computers, the ones which had the soft copies, crashed. Others were, uh, they don't, they can't. But, uh, so the only journals which they can tra track is uh, from 2015. So uh, I think if we upload those journals on our, you, you will notice a significant ch change in the numbers. Uh, and then also, also I, yes. The other we also have three journals. Oh, okay. Yeah, so uh, those could be also be uploaded. Yeah. Uh, but at the same time, we are also uh, trying to transform from hard copies to online. Uh, so starting uh, anytime, uh, next month, okay. uh, we have somebody assisting the actual board uh, to be able to upload uh, uh, their journal issues. Uh, so and again, of course, we will start with our three journals, but we will, we will be able to expand to other journals. Because in the investment, there are a number of journals uh, which are not also uploaded. But if you put all of them under one, one roof, then we should be able to manage them properly. Uh, I see no reason why we should not have them uh, under this system. Okay. Thank, you so much, Thank you so much, Mr. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Yes. 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 Um, so the issue is there are other outputs besides John also conference papers, book chapter and books. Mm -hmm. And this is the misconception people have. And mm -hmm. so we might have the other journals, but we need a place where we can put the other conference procedures. Yeah. Um, and then I had a question for you on awareness, because you raised the issue of awareness. I don't know what would be effective. If I thought today's talk was a step forward in awareness, and this is not the first time we're doing this. I think we did this last last year and invited you to give a similar talk. But I wonder if what might be effective would be going school by school yes. and showing people this because it turns out that when you show people they listen more than those yes. they, you know there's a problem with area, they don't mm. realize the implications of this. It affects the university ranking. Yes. And then and then what I've noticed the awareness, the one which has been a bit and it has worked for me. Because like us, like academic librarians, we have been attached to schools. So I like the Dean School of Education. Every board of studies meeting, it gives the library an opportunity to talk. So I've used those opportunities to market our ideas. And I think we shall now maybe, I'll, we shall make sure our colleagues don't sit on other boards in schools. I think if they can use that approach. Maybe we even go on Rimza Radio, but we, I don't know how many faculty members listen to. Yeah, honestly. Yes. Thank, thank you so much for the wonderful presentation. Um, I just have a question on, um, I've seen in the IR, the certain digital office that has was missing elements. In particular, maybe you find that the abstract is missing on, on, uh, on description, which I think sometimes makes it difficult for uh, the spirit of certain, certain digital objects. So I wanted to find out what could be the problem um, that leads to uh, um, uh, there are some instances, for example, in the School of Law. Um, uh, I don't know how their, their standards are in terms of publishing. We notice that their journals have no abstracts. The articles have no abstracts. And we discovered later, actually. So that's why we even said, uh, hold on. Because now the, the librarians had to sit and start creating an, uh, the abstract for that title. But again, that is not a professional. So we said maybe let us engage the chief editors for those uh, journals. So uh, what was happening sometimes, uh, you find that uh, uh, those people were archiving and uploading. They upload it the way they see it. Uh, the, the article had no abstract. And it, it, it happened, we, 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 we have encountered it here at UNS. Mm. Mm. The, the journals from the articles from the School of Law. No, no abstract, maybe we don't know, prof. maybe that's the, <laughs> the standard. So, you, uh, we, uh, yeah, so, yes, 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 yeah, so, yes. <laughs> mm. Because they exactly what, like what you are saying, we, we emphasize. Because the, 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 the abstract is the first thing the person will see. When they, 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 they want to, uh, they, 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 they click on an article, it's an abstract. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's why we said, ah, articles with no abstracts, we hold on to them until we, we, we create. Now, to create an abstract, it, it, it's a, uh, it, 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 uh, That explains the one then in this quote. Mm -hmm. They are, they have the, the articles are there. Okay. On the press. Right. But the issue we have is all the journal, uh, journals they have been, the journal of law, yeah, the, the same, the famous, most of the articles have no abstracts. Mm. Mm. So those are the issues. So in terms of standards and the quality control, the ones who approve, we have to look out for them. So if there are some, when they are, uh, and we take note of them now, we are, we put them down. Yeah, the, uh, yes. 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 Mm. Uh, sorry? Uh, like how do students um, submit? Okay, the, the, see the student, uh, when they are given a final go ahead to do the final document, they are given a go ahead, I think it should be by DJRIs. That's, that's when they go now and uh, bind the thesis and do the CD. 
Uh -huh. So they submit the CD and the thesis hard copy to DGRS, and then that co those two copies eventually come to the library. And uh -huh. my concern mm. is with the director is here. Mm. I think maybe the CD might be a bit prone to damage, especially if we are handing huge amounts. And for instance, you stated uh, one of the challenges you are facing is storage facilities. Mm. So maybe going forward, it would be nice that we think of a way where maybe students can submit, I don't know if it's online, after the approval of course, there can be, a, we have IT experts in this ministry, so maybe they can guide how that submission can be done, maybe without having to go to the CD, because um, I think nowadays CDs are a bit difficult to handle. I don't know what your experience has been. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If they mm -hmm. submitted online, it would even be easier for the people that are doing the apples on the IR because they would just have a common place where all the submissions are received. For instance, maybe it's Italian or something else. Um, actually, I so wish Angela Miranda was around. She's a second year master's student and one of the things she's uh, co-supervising, one of the things she's interested in doing is trying to explore alternative ways for that and begin. So that would be one option that she's going to have to explore. Um, so can we have students, instead of submitting a hard copy and the CD, maybe we have them do an extra process for starters where they go to some online form and then fill in their details and they just upload the dissertation. Um, this gender, this is how it's done in other mm -hmm. universities. So the university was asked to submit mm -hmm. the manuscript online. Uh, but then it goes through an approval process where the supervisor will submit the library will submit, and then if there are changes to be made, you are notified to make the changes. Mm -hmm. That's the that's the process. Uh, yeah, that actually. It goes through as this has okay. all assignments are submitted <coughs> online. And I think it's I, 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 actually. Just maybe uh, it's one of the proposals actually because in the policy, uh, the, our policy document, uh, our workflow, uh, the assistant dean's research, uh, we, they are at a level where they will be approving, they approve, and then it's sent to the librarians here. Then we do the final when we make sure that the metadata. So actually, I had proposed, we have proposed that facility. So that 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 workflow task is 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 going to be done by the assistant DGRS. Uh, we have we are we are we are thinking in those lines actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah so that <laughs> so that we do we we, we 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 sort out the issues of even of storage space. Yes, yes, it's there in the workflow process. That 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 that, that thing is there. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, yes, yes. Uh, it is of the honor that for a long time. Uh, for graduate degrees, uh, programs, registration, application, we have all been doing it uh, manually. Yes. Uh, mm. But of course, that is because last year we mm. have now started computerizing our system. Mm. Uh, now, registration is uh, online. Mm. And now, uh, we are working towards uh, an online registration, sorry, not a registration, application. Mm. Online application. Mm. Uh, the, monitoring of student progression, mm -hmm. everything will be online, including submissions of dissertation. Okay. Yeah, but the uh, usually the difficulty we have in CICP preparing the necessary background uh, ways mm -hmm. to make that uh, possible. Okay. So, but I hope that uh, within the next uh, year and a half, we should be able to be uploading dissertation. I, I think it also brings us back to the, to the policy. If, mm. if the policy was implemented and all these procedures explained, mm. it would be easy. So, so I think mm. implementation of a policy, hope that these things will look taken care of. Mm. Mm. Um, yes, yes. When, uh, when, once the policy is adopted and uh, implemented, I, I would love to know how is it, is it that uh, are you trying to make it like an independent, to make IRA as an independent uh, 
structure on its own or to still be under the library mm -hmm. and then okay. the, when it comes to furniture and everything <coughs> that is required, is it uh, the policy that will dictate mm -hmm. how that uh, section will be or unit will be funded or managed or is it mm -hmm. still going to be the usual one port and then you share the mm -hmm. remains? Okay. Mm. Actually, that, our idea was to create a, a department, okay. but uh, we advised when we are making the presentation to council that now, Yunza, when you talk of creating a department, it will be shut down because it has cost implications. It requires staffing. Uh, so uh, the unit will still come from the special, but uh, someone will be made responsible. So maybe you just create one responsibility and allowance for that person, then they draw their staff from the pool. Okay, yes. But our idea was to create a department. Because I think getting yes. from the same pool is still great. Yeah, again, yeah. Yes. still have problems yeah. in terms of finance. Yes, ma'am. Uh, we, we were told that uh, they were doing updates. So they are saying those updates, because uh, the, the, our dispatch is supposed to synchronize with the Google score. It's supposed to be harvested. So as at now, the past one month, the materials we are putting, they are not being harvested. You put it in, you archive it, you check three days later in Google score, you search for it, you can't see it. So we, are, we were told that uh, Someone came. Uh, we sometimes we the, that project, the, the DHL project, it's been funded by World Health. So there's a gentleman who is managing that project, an IT specialist. So when he comes in to look at how they do it, we sometimes borrow his time, ask him to look at our dispatch because he's an expert. Actually, he's the one who trained them in Netherlands. So he just he resigned from that university in Netherlands and he joined. The, so he's the one, when he comes to do the ADHA work, he helps us to work on the system. So he came in last about uh, six weeks. Uh, he, he says, uh, we told him the problems we have, please help us to synchronize this thing to the Google Scorer. People now are interested, they're archiving their work, and they want to see the IT index increasing. Uh -huh. Those are the calls I receive every minute. So that gentleman he did something. So every time we call him, he says, no, it's still running updates. So we don't know. We shall wait. So he said that maybe we give him a month. Then if it goes to the West, now we maybe we shall engage management, maybe. They just maybe we look for plan B. Maybe we train our own. We send our own for training so that the thing can be worked on. Because it's very frustrating, actually. It's very frustrating, especially the past three weeks. Mm -hmm. So this is coming to uh, mm -hmm. the core is a uh, question. So it turns out that uh, in, in most universities they have what the core system of areas, and I don't know if Zika has this structure. So typically this would be like a group of IT specialists but attached to the library and they're experts when it comes to library systems. Right? Uh, I don't think we have systems like that in Afghanistan. But what we do have is I know that we have a lot of people in CICT who are competent, more than mm -hmm. competent actually to do this stuff. I have always found it strange that we have to engage someone externally when we have people of our own here. I think it's a classic case of them not realizing the importance of the IR. And it happens to most mm. large organizations. You know, you still work in CICT and you don't realize the value that the IR brings in. You know, so exactly. treat it as being this sub high entity that doesn't require attention. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and one of the things uh, that, that come with for example, Zika's I think will be a, a good example. We are just starting. One of the things you want to do when you start projects like with the IR is get senior management involved. Like let, let them understand what this is bringing to the university and um, uh, if possible, win their support. And then the IT department also should know and understand what this will bring to the university. I feel like we, 
the IR at Unda, I feel like it has been looked more like a, a, a library project. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that uh, has been the cause of all mm -hmm. this. Everyone should look at it like this is our baby, let's run with it. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Abraham. Especially with the issue of the H index. It's now a university project, it's not a library project. Uh, like when you're talking about management, you're yeah. making the ranking, mm. which is yeah. true. It affects ranking. And, uh, and if, if you look at immediately when we, we archived our works, when we finished all the thesis, I think it was somewhere in 2017, 20, even our ranking changed. We, it increased, I think, by about eight notches. Uh, and that was attributed to, when you look at the statistics, it was attributed to the the but things we are we kind of we and we can do more actually <laughs> <laughs> we can do more actually we can do more and CBS uh, is what? So I, think a ah, CBS. I don't know what I, what happened so uh, uh, GSB nothing GSB nothing what is that? graduate so school of business and, uh, and prof yeah. prof oh, uh, there's uh, one there's one concern also uh -huh. uh, maybe I think we shall engage you again uh -huh. the issue of um, um, in the university, as I are again, we have noticed. Uh, sorry, I'm talking to you in public, but I think well, they are going to engage. I think we are. We are engaging. I will engage him. I will engage. Yeah. So there's, there's another yeah. question. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was saying I don't know if you answered whether I came in when you were done with your presentation. Yes. I don't know if there are, there are reports that sometimes to access documentation in other districts or outside campus. Yes, yes. Yes. Initially, when 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 I came in the department, I'm told I was told that uh, uh, the, the 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 repository could only be accessed by someone using the cable, the user line. Uh, that was, that, that, and it went on for some time, but after some time uh, they said no, they had worked on it because now the IDE had expanded. They said even those people should access it. Uh, so as at now, things should be okay. But I think it's these technical glitches which, like that lady said. Yes. Uh, you, you are able to download, yes, but yes. The technical of, uh, testing it easy. It's not. So it's not. It's not so easy. So. Yes, Yeah. Yeah, because Zika Zika has been doing about eight years. So, yeah. And my last question is about the new machines. Again, I don't know. No. Yes. Yes. Where do you archive them on our website? Conference proceedings coming from press conferences that day. Okay, there is a community which we call university collection. Uh, just the same as in the special collection. Because uh, the IRA, IRA, we borrowed all the features of uh, how we have organized our materials in the special collection. In the special collection, we have a university collection. So in that collection, uh, if, uh, if, if someone attends a lecture, presents a paper, it goes in that collection. We have a gray literature collection, those gray cabinets. Yes, those are stuff and published. Preprints, off print, off prints. Uh -huh. So it borrows all the same features, and the, those communities are very in the AR. Yes. All right. And sorry, I know you, was, you said you are rushing somewhere. So, okay. um, but before we thank him, I just wanted to if you can comment on what Prof said about uh, MS being one and give an example himself to say yes. A lot of publications. The question to you is maybe what do you think we can do to try and help them, to try and help the people that have content to quickly upload uh, whatever output they might have. I'm told we normally have interns on the vacation. I'm sure we can maybe make use of them. We have knowledge management experts, we have experts such as yourself. We can obviously come together and try and see if we can, well, increase NS from two to more, right? Exactly. <laughs> Instead of Yes, I know. 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 Yes, I know.
Exactly. Yes. If I tell you, there are some journals they restrict. Yes. People, if you want to get a paper, you have to buy. To pay, yes. Yes. But will they allow people to? Most most journals. Maybe you want. Yeah. So, but the the way the IR works is it works in such a way that um you can you can upload descriptive information and not the not the whole full thing. Yes. Yes. For journals that have restrictions, and I know there are a lot of journals that for some journals that restrict access to it, but they allow you to upload metadata. Mm -hmm. The most number are, 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 are subscribing to open access now. Right. Most journals that were closed uh, in no. September, they're sub subscribing. With, with the policy enacted, one of the things that universities are doing to make IRRs work also is you can write to some of these journals and request. Like we, we are thinking of doing this. I don't know the possibility of doing it now at, at home, mm. but mm. that is a serial where you write to journals. Mm. Uh, staff published with you. Is it okay if we we go ahead and publish them in the okay okay and then uh, like what I what I said in my earlier presentation, uh, if you notice, almost every department in the university now has got a departmental library, and uh, that is where you find. Uh, the conference proceedings, most of the lecturers, they prefer to deposit them there. Uh, so like what you have proposed, uh, I think in, in the near future, we have to take advantage of the interns which we send to our department. And then maybe we concentrate, we say, this is this quarter, let's work on the department of uh, School of Engineering. Not only interns, yeah, we have yeah. courses in our department, uh, yes. we, can, we can carve these out as exercises. Then we just harvest from you, isn't it? Yeah, how the students Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I wanted to thank all of you, uh, especially the director from DRGS. We are, we are happy that you came to hope to, although DRGS is not to be affected, you know, but, <laughs> but we are happy to rest us with the present um, and the least student as well. Thank you so much. Um, all right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I will sh I don't know how best I can share for the presentation. Um, my email address is right on the period. Then if you want a copy of the slides, uh, just send me an email and then I will send you get the copy from you. You got the copy. Sorry? The, the copy is already on the machine. Thank you so much. I hope it's fine. <laughs>